I was asked to share just a few words today about Jim, and uh, I'm grateful and honored to do so. For anyone who doesn't know, Jim is my brother-in-law. We've known each other for more than 36 years, and technically another year or so because of Deb and I dating. Jim was quite a guy. I remember being at Deb's house one evening for supper and as the food was being passed around from person to person, Jim's mom said, you need to pass the hamburger plate to Steve. Jim simply reaches in on top of the pile, he gets one and he wings it like a frisbee across the length of the table and lands on my plate. Perfectly. Couldn't have been better. And at that time, I knew Jim was a little different. So we get up this morning and watch the uh, the funeral. It's it's nice because the funeral home is, is offering that as a free service. We're just streaming it so you know folks out of town can watch. So we watch that. Um, my uh, my dad actually, uh, I, I guess, played the role of the the minister today. Um, just because they didn't have a minister. Uh, in Jim's will, he had requested a particular minister, but since that will was written, that minister had passed away. So my dad just basically um, said a few words and stuff. So that was, that was nice. Um, and it was nice to, you know, <laughs> through, through the eye of the, the camera, get to see some of my extended family again. Now we've come over here uh, to my parents' house to make sure we take care of him, and he's fine. He's doing good. He's happy that he got a little food. Um, last night before bed, uh, we continued working through some of the filing and uh, continuing to shred papers, mostly just utility bills. Like old we utility bills. old utility. Like we had a box of stuff that was like save. And in retrospect, I was thinking, eh, maybe not save, because we were shredding, like, electric bills from, like, 2013. And I was shredding stuff. We had a huge, huge pile of stuff to shred last night. And I, I probably shred about 75% of it. And then our shredder stopped working. And I was like, oh. And I thought maybe it was a paper jam, so, like, I unplugged it, and I was, like, trying to pull all the paper out. And... I got basically every scrap of paper out of it and I, I plugged it back in and it was like, <laughs> I'm not going to work. So fortunately, uh, my parents actually have a paper shredder, so we brought over the last of the stuff and shredded it, so at least that's all done. The stuff's out of our life. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. It, it, took, it took us years, but we finally bothered to actually shred all the stuff. So um, we fed him. He's good. Uh, he's already eating more. He's already back to eating more. He doesn't like to eat it all at once. Yeah, he likes to. He likes to make it last. Um, scoop his boxes and make sure he's set there, and then uh, we'll head back home. And of course, we'll be we'll be back here later tonight. I think I mentioned it the other day, but whenever my parents left town, they gave us some of their groceries that they were worried was going to go bad. Turns out these groceries are perfect for helping us create tacos, because we were sitting on a bunch of tortillas and we weren't really sure how we were going to consume them all. So we're gonna make tacos tonight, and Mal is already starting to uh, to brown the beef. Yeah, I thought it the other day. And... But we don't have any taco seasoning, but don't worry, because you can make your own at home. What will you need? I'll tell you. Just put a tablespoon of chili powder, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes, quarter teaspoon dried oregano, half a teaspoon paprika, one and a half teaspoons ground cumin, one teaspoon sea salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix it all up, and there you go. You might be saying, how do you know how to do that? Inter internet. It's on, it's on all recipes. Just search for taco seasoning recipe. It's easy. This all looks really, really great, with the only problem being that these plates are way too small for how big these these tortillas are. We don't normally buy this, this size tortilla, but we got them at Costco because it was cheaper and they're 
they're big. Also, the seasoning came out good, from what Mao says, with the exception of the red pepper flakes. I prefer it to the packet, but it's too hot. So we gotta cut those down next time? Or, double it. <laughs> hey bud. You smell Keppy? Keppy says hi, in his own special way. Every time we come over here and then go back, you know, Rocco is smelling my hand and smells Kepler, and then I go home and <laughs> Kepler smells Rocco, so it's like they're saying hi. They're not saying hi, they're saying, I smell another cat! Okay. Oh, yay. I get to eat now. <laughs> I got a chance to talk with my mom a few times today, and, um, you know, for as, as rough as the day was, I feel like my mom had a good day. She wanted to be there, and she was. And she got a chance to see her brother one last time. And she got a chance to see some of her family that she hasn't seen in over a decade. And she got to be there for my cousins, who, I mean, I feel really valued her being there, which I know meant a lot to her. Um, so yeah, the circumstances are bad you know, objectively bad, but I'm glad she's there for as worried as I've been. And I have admittedly been worried, but it was a private funeral. It was very small. There wasn't very many people there. And uh, I'm glad she's there. Now, I don't know exactly when they're going to be coming home because um, the burial is going to be in another day or two. Uh, and I know that they are trying to meet with some folks that they haven't seen in forever and i've been talking to mom and she's like she said i you know i've been i've been trying to reach out to folks and say hey you know if if we can just pull up in your driveway and and you know we can like just talk at a distance in your yard you know because i haven't seen these people in over a decade she's like i just want to see them you know we don't have to go inside we don't have to you know, have dinner. She's like, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to be able to talk to them, to be able to see them in person again. So I know that she's, you know, they're doing it. She's happy to be home, but they're also doing a really good job of, you know, trying to stay safe. And I appreciate it. So I, uh, I wish them well. And in the meantime, obviously we're looking after their boy, our boy, Rocco. So that'll continue. Anyway, long day. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?